So for today, we're going to be looking at the Tusk Allegiance armor set. This is the base armor for Season of the Arisen. So essentially uh, the activity, you can get it in the season pass, stuff like that. This armor is pretty cool. Uh, very Keitel themed. So if you're not into Keitel themed armor set, then it's kind of whatever's to be quite honest. But before we get into the video, if you guys like the video, like, comment, and subscribe, really does help the channel grow, and I really appreciate it. Uh, the, the other thing I wanted to mention is that the ornament video did go up first. I kind of got it backwards because I got really excited to do the ornament video. So if you guys want to check out the ornament video after this video is done, then I'll have it in the description and in the comments below. But there's going to be some carryover because the ornament video, I did try to do some new things in that video which again will carry over to this one so uh hopefully hopefully you guys enjoy it and let's just get right into it so this is the tusk allegiance armor set this is basically cabal themed but not really it's more so keitel cabal themed which is fine i think the armor looks beautiful already so for mm, i shouldn't say that i should say pieces of these armor sets look really cool i should say uh, for example, like I think the cloak on the hunter looks really cool. I think the arms on the hunter look really cool aside from the left uh, pauldron if I remember correctly. And the speaking of pauldrons, the pauldrons on the titan look absolutely amazing. Their mark looks beautiful. Their, hum their helmet is little like either you'll love it or you hate it. I'm like in the middle where I'm like I, I like it but I don't know what I'll be I'm going to use with it. And then the warlock, I think is just the best. The best part from it is just the chest piece. I think everything else is very uh, not good in my opinion. The arms, I'm not a big fan of, although these are better than the ornament arms. So I'll give it that. I think the, the reverse is for the boots. I think the boots for the ornaments are way better. And then the helmet for the warlock specifically look really gross in my opinion. Other than that, I think I think every piece has its has its place in each each armor piece. Uh, next up is shaders. We're gonna talk about the shaders and what the differences with the shader is because there are a few differences here and there. As for the shaders, we're gonna be looking at the same shaders that we looked at in the ornament video. First one is gonna be Echo Anger. This one is from the new raid. It's definitely one of my favorite shaders in this season, and thankfully this shader actually does. Uh, a lot better in this with this armor set than the other ones uh, there's not a lot of off colors that this is going to use aside from the titan's uh, left leg and i think that's actually it i don't see any on the hunter or the warlock and it again shaders really well as for the gambit jade stone again the off color will only be on the left leg for the titans that's the only one i can really see maybe on the the boots for the hunter on the right leg maybe that's an off color but jade stone is not the best for this because the off color is like also black which is also part of the shade it's this is not a good shader we'll we'll look we'll see when we get to the other shaders but i also like this one a lot this is a good one for really bright glows so again if you want to use the helmets or for the warlock bond for a glow effect this, this is definitely the shader to do it with for the Abyssinian gold, this one also looks really good. Weirdly enough, the off color or off color, yeah, the off color is not actually the off color. That's the secondary color, if I remember correctly, which is pretty cool. I very much appreciate that. But as you can see, the warlock has just full black, no brown at all, which is really cool. Unfortunately for the hunter, you guys will notice that uh, the arms and the legs are both asymmetrical, but at least it's we have a lot of armor like that so you can combine it with other pieces as well uh for the sato tribe uh there's actually no off color on this one at least i can't see it uh the titan's left leg just looks like regular white which is a a basic color that this shader has a lot with uh the only thing which is kind of unfortunate is the warlocks don't have any white at all which is a little weird but other than that these look really good with it for Braguzian Knight, the only off color I can really see is the Titan's helmet, I think. It has a really weird orange, which is a tall tale sign. But other than that, everything looks really good. Specifically, the left leg on the Titans, you can see the marking of 
the forges which is really good and then the right leg is actually the off color or the secondary color that would be so the only one that doesn't really look good with Berguzian would be the warlocks because Berguzian doesn't do a really good job with a uh, cloth armor and for dreaming spectrum this is going to be your best shader if you just want to like really combine all of the armor sets into one uh whole shader uh this i think this is the only shader that does this so again if you want to combine the all of the armor sets into one shader this is going to be your best bet because i do know that the left arm for the titans sometimes is a different color unfortunately or iron to steel this one is also really weird because the titan's left leg i know i keep saying the titan's left leg but this one is actually the off color because this black usually does not come up uh same thing for the hunters on their chest piece you can see the plate is actually the off color as well so that's pretty unfortunate and the actual boots on the on the hunters is the off color as well so just be aware that these this armor does have off color choices as well but not on all of them and also remember that the titan's arms the specifically the left gauntlet uh that one actually does change color depending on which shader you use and whatnot so just be aware of the little intricacies intricacies that this armor does have we have this uh armor set i think this came out really cool i wanted to use the chest piece just because i feel like the chest piece is really really powerful and you guys will notice i'm not using an exotic neither of all of these sets are gonna have exotics just because uh why not because i tried to use the the cabal themed arms for each of the classes and i was just like i don't really want to do this i just want to do something that looks really cool so this is what I came up with for my hunter. For the helmet, we have the Illicit Collector helm, which is great. I love this helmet. It's literally one of my favorites. I literally have um, almost all of them. I'm just missing the yellow one, but I usually never do yellow colors on my hunter, so that's why I never. That's why I don't have it. Uh, for the arms, we have the Forbidden Visage grips. This is these are one of my favorite arms to use on my hunter surprisingly even though I, people might like people who have watched my content before will know that for me i don't really like bulky armor even though i have like two armor sets that i have a bulky set so next one is gonna be the chest pieces the chest piece for for the for the uh touch the legion set and i think this looks super cool i, I love that it's very it's big it's it's way bigger than most chest pieces that the hunters have uh to showcase that let me show you guys real quick this does not look that big in comparison uh another one would be like this one right here this one looks also really skinny compared to like bulk of all of this uh for the boots we're using the ornament boots just because it's it really matches well with the bulk of the chest piece uh don't get me wrong there's other pieces you could definitely use you could do something like this which does not look bad in my opinion it actually looks pretty cool but i wanted to go with this one just to like really hold that uh I don't know i didn't i didn't want to go for a tactical look because i already did that for the ornament video which again i'll have it in the description and the comment comments but i wanted to have something that's bulky but not like super fat i wanted something just right and obviously the ornaments are going to go well with it and for the cloak we have the steel steeplechase cloak which is one of my favorite chest or one of my favorite uh cloaks as well just because of how great it is and it definitely will it definitely does look edgy i will not say it does not but i I, I like it i really really like it let me know what you guys think in the comments below next up is going to be the titans and for the titans i have something wild so i in never in my wildest dreams would i think i would be using the shadows plate uh chess piece and envious touch but fucking hell this looks amazing so for the helmet, we have the Tusta Legion set, obviously. I think the, I think this helmet goes really well with this whole set. The arms, also Tusta Legions. I wanted to use these arms because these arms are fucking beautiful. And surprisingly, Shadow's Plate. Unfortunately, you can't get this anymore. But the reason I wanted to use this is because A, it's actually really bulky. I, didn't, I did not know it was this bulky in the back and in the front. Uh, there's a few problems with this uh, chest piece for unfortunately if you are trying to use this just be aware that the purple in the in the gems and the gold right here will not change color 
Uh, they're pretty much fixed, which is why I never thought I would be using this. I also don't have it unlocked because I don't I don't see the point in unlocking this for one one armor set that I use, will like I won't, probably won't ever use the shadows plate ever. So that's why I don't have it unlocked. For the boots, we have the uh, Forian Greaves uh, from the 30th anniversary. Definitely one of my favorite Greaves in the game for the Titans. And then for the Mark, we have the Finala's Iron Mark. Definitely one of my favorite Marks as well. Uh, you guys will know that I'm not, I haven't unlocked that one either yet, just because I, I just haven't. And uh, yeah, let, Titans, let me know. I, this definitely looks cool as fuck. I would love to see this on a male Titan, just to see how big it is. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I, I, I think this is the best one. Like legitimately, it's so fucking good. Like even the hunters like pales in comparison to the, just all of this. It looks so great. Uh, next up is warlocks, and then uh, we'll we'll talk about the. Next up is warlocks, and then we'll I'll give you my th final thoughts. And as for the warlocks, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I am actually quite impressed with this look. So. I a lot of people are going to be like, wow, you're using the arms, which is completely fair. Uh, most people would be expecting me to use like, you know, the chess piece because the chess piece is the biggest piece of the whole set. It's usually the center uh, piece of the whole set. Um, the reason I didn't use it is because I've already used it in the ornament video for that specific unique armor set. So I didn't want to reuse that because, again, I already used it. So I decided to use originally the boots, but I was like, oh wait, these boots are from the ornament, not not the actual set. So I was like, all right, well, I'll use this instead. And I don't think it looks bad. I think it looks really cool. It looks very, uh, very like Blade Runner-ish kind of thing. But then I put the arms on and I was like, wait, never mind, dude. The arms with this just looks amazing. So for the helmet, we have the Ancient Apocalypse hood. This is a this is an old iron. This is actually a gambit. This is the original gambit armor for the warlocks, and I love it. It looked, came out really cool. The arms were using the Tusk Allegiance set because I really like it. The chest we're using is the Inspector's robes from this season. It's a blue, and I think this one is such a good trench coat. You guys got a really good trench coat this this time around, and I love the fact that this shader turns the shirt red, which is why I'm using this shader in the first place. For the boots, we're using the Psionic Speaker boots because I feel like they just look really good with this whole set. And it also makes the the arms have a pattern that's the same as the boots, which is why I'm using them. For the arms, we're going to be using the Luminal Voyager just because it looks really good with it. It has blue with it and the helmet has blue as well. So that's why I'm using all of this. Overall, I think the weakest one is my hunter. I think my hunter just does not look as good as the warlock and the titan, which is really weird because it's usually the other way around. But hunt, titans and warlocks, you guys, I don't know what the fuck came over me, but the armor sets just came out beautifully this time. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. That's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about this whole armor set in total. Uh, the Tusk Allegiance armor set is pretty cool in my opinion. Definitely a lot of usable pieces in this whole set. The helmets are probably the only weakest portions of the whole thing, if I'm being quite honest. Um, there's a lot of asymmetry as well. There's a lot of things that I kind of like hate about the armor, but there's pieces of it that just look so good that it kind of like, makes me like think like whatever. It's the, the pieces that are good are really good. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I'll link to in the description below. Let me know what you guys think about this new format. Is it good? Is it bad? I would love to know because this takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of uh, editing and unfortunately render time as well. It took like the, 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 the ornament video took legitimately, uh, what is it? I think eight to nine hours. No, no, I think it was like seven to six hours just because of so much videos on top of each other so many things but yeah let me know what you guys think if you guys want to follow me on my social media links in the description below thank you all for coming to this point and i'll see you guys later